<clears throat> All right. Let's get this party started. What's going on, everybody? For those of you who are watching the replay, you can go ahead and flash forward just a little bit to get into the Q&A portion of today's live Q&A session. Um, I like to take the first five to ten minutes to get to know people who are on my live stream, say hello, things like that. So, again, if you're watching the replay, feel free to go ahead and flash forward. <clears throat> but for those of you who are here with me now, what's up? How's everybody doing? Danae, Chance, what's going on? OJ, what's up? Man, it's cold. I just got in from outside. It is freaking cold outside here. Is it cold where y'all are at? Anybody in warm weather? Your client said that he would sign a contractor agreement. What do you mean, what should you do? You get him to sign that contract. You should get all your clients to sign contracts. <clears throat> and that's to protect you. I wonder what the temperature is here. It feels colder than... There ain't no way it's 36 degrees. Man, it feels like it's about 20 All right, for those of you who are here, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button or give me a like if you love these Q&A sessions or if I've ever helped you at all in any way with your agency. I would love to see some feedback from you guys. So hit that thumbs up button and let other people know the best marketing agency channel and Q&A session on the market. <clears throat> It's 36 here, but with the wind chill, it feels like it's about 28. And that's directly from, that's from the uh, weatherman. I don't exactly know what wind chill would do. I can't just make that up. Why is monetization off? Should be on. Whoops. Although, these videos only make like a dollar, so it's not that big of a deal. I thought I saw something in my teeth. <laughs> I just got done eating. Had Chinese takeout. Who likes Chinese takeout? Y'all like Chinese? Mar, what's going on, bud? <clears throat> At the gym, but still tuned in. Welcome to Grind Tube. <laughs> Glad you're here, Charlton. All right, you guys, do me a favor. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you have things you want me to discuss, go ahead and put those in the chat so that way we can get this started. OJ loves Chinese food. It's pretty good, I gotta say. <clears throat> I like to get Mongolian beef because I like a little bit of spiciness. <laughs> What's up, Arkham? You want to get buff, bro? <laughs> For those of you who are like, what the hell is he talking about? We had this. I think I was making fun of some people like two or three weeks ago. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. It's time to shave the beard. I'm just going to shave it all the way off. Show y'all what I look like when I'm baby face. <clears throat> oh, hibachi is where it's at. Now, if I had to pick one, like Chinese or Japanese, I'm going Japanese. I love Japanese food. But, if you want me to be even more honest, guys, my new obsession, Korean barbecue, 
bruh. If you haven't been to a Korean barbecue place, I'm telling you right now, like, change your life, okay? And start going to Korean barbecue. Every other type of Asian food, you're just going to be like, nah, man, Korean barbecue all day. It's good, man. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do this one. There we go. Get rid of that black space at the top. It's just like nothing. All right. Much better. Getting buff as we speak. <laughs> Italian is good. But I'm telling you, try some Korean barbecue. It will change your freaking life. Like, holy crap. I don't know where Korean barbecue has been my whole life. I've been eating it now for like a little over a year. Oh, actually, no. Was it this year? I think it was pre-COVID. So I think last year was the first time I ever had Korean barbecue. <clears throat> no, that's my favorite part because I like cooking. So... I don't even let them cook it for me. I'm like, no, I got this. And I take the tongs and I start flipping stuff over. I don't like people cooking for me. If I'm, I don't mind people cooking for me. Don't get me wrong. But like, if I'm at an experience like that, I want to cook it. I can't wrap my head around barbecue not being barbecue. It is barbecue. You're thinking barbecue sauce, which is not barbecue. That's just like what it was called. Barbecue is just grilling and cooking in a specific way and it doesn't even have to be smoked necessarily and again it's korean barbecue so it's a different it's their version of barbecue not american version of barbecue worst case scenario you screwed up a facebook ad campaign and your client wants a refund but in the contract it states you don't offer refunds what do you do you don't give them a refund it's as simple as that <clears throat> but if you screwed it up then, you know, I, I would probably say you probably should give them a refund. I would try to work it out to where, where, you know, it's like, hey, I screwed up. Let me give you this month free because I know we can get you results, blah, blah, blah. But I probably would try to keep the client first, get them some results, keep them happy, and then get them to pay again the next month. But if you if you did screw up, um, just out of good faith and being a a good person you should either refund them or give them a month for free have you niched down to one particular niche i know you was doing restaurants at one point of time but wanted to know if you service anyone that needs marketing or just a couple of niches so no we've opened up a lot like niching is it's a good approach and it doesn't mean you don't have to like go outside of your niche ever if you don't want to but it's it's a it's a smart strategy for starting the business. Then from there, you know, after you build your your base clientele and you're making some money, from there you can start to expand if you want. But it does it benefits you to start with a niche in the beginning because you're able to standardize your processes, you're able to standardize what you do as far as the campaign itself. Um, you don't have to make too many adjustments if you're just working in one niche because essentially the marketing campaign will be the same for every single business in that niche. <clears throat> Come to Cali and let's go get Korean barbecue. <laughs> it's a long way to go to get some Korean barbecue. <laughs> if it ain't cooked over charcoal, then it don't taste the same. <laughs> Actually... Most people who barbecue the right way don't cook over charcoal. They cook over wood, and they smoke over wood. If it's traditional. Have you ever offered payment plans for clients or financing? No, I have not. We do it all up front or not at all. Barbecue sauce is what I'm going through. It throws me off. I automatically want barbecue when I hear barbecue. Now I want barbecue. <laughs> hey, bar good barbecue is always good to eat. What if they want to go to court? I mean, they could try to take you to court, but it's in the contract that you don't offer refunds. I really, and that's not really a question I feel comfortable answering because that's where I would 
suggest you talk to an attorney about what your options are there and what their options are if they were to try and sue you. <clears throat> have you ever heard of the price per lead model? Yes, I have. I don't personally like it. I don't personally do it. It only works in certain niches, not every niche. So I wouldn't do that if I were you, unless you're positive, it's going to be an effective method for you. Also, should we offer guarantee when selling? I don't ever offer a guarantee um, because, for example, if you're not the one answering the phone and guaranteeing that they're going to follow up with the leads every single time, then I definitely am not going to guarantee anything because you can send leads to a business and this happens all the time. You'll send leads to a business and they don't follow up with their own leads, which makes no sense to me, but they don't. So um, that's not really your fault that it didn't, you know, work out the way that they had anticipated it to. How do you track clients from a single niche through running ads? I feel like that's something hard to do without manual outreach. No, you just target based on what type of business that they run. Your targeting is going to target business owners within that niche. <clears throat> so for example, if it's restaurants, you could create audience targeting that is business owners, and business owners who follow like restaurant.com, you know, and you can even add in other restaurant magazines or websites and stuff like that. So you know those people are more likely to be restaurant owners. Where do you host the Q&As for DMS 2.0? All you have to do is be in the group and we post it like next Monday. We'll be going and it's just, it's a Zoom call like this. So I'm going to post a link for a Zoom call and you just join the Zoom call. <clears throat> um, we currently do more in the like contractor space. So roofing, plumbing, HVAC, stuff like that. It's our bigger niche. Um, and they're just easier to service, in my opinion. Their leads are typically worth more. Um, they have more value than a lot of other industries. And they're easy to work with. As long as you're driving them leads and they do a good job following up, you're going to make them money. So it's a solid niche to work in, just contractor niche. But that doesn't mean it's the only good niche because it's not. There's tons of solid niches out there to work with. But best thing you can do is look at what you personally have an interest in and work within that niche. But also keep in mind with Corona that not every niche is solid. That's why we're not, you know, we're not focusing on a ton of restaurants right now because restaurants are struggling and they're probably not going to go out of their way to spend more on marketing. So who wants me to show a new software that I found um, and it's useful for optimizing and getting the most out of content creation, web page building, where you're trying to get things to rank in Google, things like that. Y'all want me to show you all that software? If so, write in the comments that you want to see it. And I can share my screen and we'll quickly run through that. I just found it earlier this week. <clears throat> or last week. And I'm really enjoying it. It shows you all of the top competitors. It shows you topics that are covered on each page. Shows you links that they link to internally or externally. It shows, what else? Statistics that are used in all of the content, things like that. Nope, it's not go high level. Best way to find, you find clients, what? What's the best way you find them clients for your niche? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, What's the best way to find clients for my contractor niche? Like find them clients? Is that what you mean? <clears throat> All right, looks like some people want to see it. Okay, I already got it up. Uh, for contractor niche, SEO and PPC. It's the best way to find new leads. 
Simple as that, because where do people go when they're looking for a roofer? Google. Where do people go when they're looking for a plumber? Google. Where do people go when they're looking for HVAC? Google. Google. <laughs> think about it. That's all you guys got to do. When you're trying to think of like campaigns and how to set them up and what's going to be the best option, think about where those customers are starting their journey. And then once you figure that out, it's not going to be social, right? Like they're not finding... You don't go to look for a roofing, or a roofing company on social. You just go to Google. And you type it in. God, my nose is itchy. All right, we'll go through the software really quick. <clears throat> Let me make sure this looks okay. Mm-hmm. Oops. Hmm. All right. So this software is called Phrase. I really like it a lot. Um, and what it helps you do, like I mentioned, is it helps you plan content. And they even have this cool little tool. I just figured this out today. So like I can create this little tool, where is it? Assist an assistant, and I can actually embed it on my website. But basically, it's a quick little, if you, and it's really, this is only going to be good. I guess it can be good for any type of business, but I would only recommend using it, not only, I would recommend using it more for somebody who has a lot of content on their website. But basically, it's a tool like this. <clears throat> I can go inside, and this is not all this tool is. This is just one added feature that I like. You can click this little robot here. Hello, type a topic you're wanting to learn about. So I could type in how to, and it's already attached to my website, a right? So look, how to start a social media marketing agency. It's taking content on my website and pre-populating down here. So as the user, I can t click this, and then this bot is gonna pull data from that article and, and summarize it, right? So really, really cool. And then look, I can click open the link or I can click the link here and it's gonna take the user directly to the article in which we're talking about. Pretty neat, right? Definitely a really cool feature. It's just an added feature. But it's called Phrase, F-R-A-S-E, phrase.io. Um, and what we do is, so let's say you're wanting to create a new piece of content. You can, you're going to click new, new uh, document, and it's helping you plan that piece of content. So I can either optimize existing content. So if I have something, I can just enter in the URL, and we can optimize it, or obviously create new content. So the search query is going to be what the, it's going to be the primary keyword that you're targeting for that article. So let's say we're doing... Um, <clears throat> let's say social media marketing. All right, now give it a second. It's going to pull in all of this data over here, and it's going to analyze all of the websites out there that are targeting this keyword as well, and that rank in Google or in search engines for this specific keyword. So you can auto, uh, would, it's kind of like, it helps you get through the flow a little bit easier because it gives you a bunch of like keywords to try and target for this article. So if I'm targeting social media marketing, I'm going to obviously target social media marketing. We'll talk about social media advertising. I was hoping they'd have something in this about Facebook, Instagram, break it down a little bit more independently, but it's going to keep it high level, which is fine. We can adjust it later. So I'm just going to keep this. Um, social media strategy is probably going to be a good one. And we'll just start there. So then it's going to help us look at headers. Headers are important, obviously, with SEO, ranking content. That's what helps Google understand what the article is going to be about. So how do I start social media marketing? What is social media marketing strategy? What is required for social? What is social media marketing examples? Um, if 
That's going to be something somebody wants to hear about. How do I start social media marketing? And all of these are topics that other people are covering because this is what people are interested in. So let me see. How to do social media marketing, social media marketing strategy. We already have that one, so I'm not going to add it again. We're actually going to take that out. All right, we'll go to next. And then here's the cool thing. I can add all of these in. I don't have to add them in, though, because it's actually going to be in the right bar. But if you want to, you can. Now, you're going to insert all of this data into your editor. So look, um, I can easily plan for an article that's going to talk about this topic. So the goal, target audience, deadline, project owner, projected word count that we should write for this article, how many headings we should have for this article, right? And these are all of the headings I have so far. So what we can do is quickly look at, look at here are the search engine results that come up for the top 10. I think it's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is top nine. Top nine pages that rank on Google for social media marketing. So <clears throat> how to build your social media marketing strategy for 2020. Social media marketing for businesses. And then it gives the, uh, the uh, meta description as well. Um, social media marketing for businesses. What is it? Ultimate guide. How to create a social media marketing strategy in eight steps. Social media marketing made simple. Social media marketing. <laughs> That's okay. Social media marketing podcast on Apple. All right. So we've got a bunch of stuff over here that, ta that shows us the search and results. We have topics that are covered in each. Facebook, obviously. Instagram. Pinterest, LinkedIn, I'm surprised Pinterest is actually on here. YouTube, TikTok is probably going to be something you want to include as well. Marketing strategy, social media strategy. Cool. We've got all the headers that are pulled from those articles. So social media marketing podcasts, videos as the centerpiece of your social media marketing strategy, social media marketing courses and training, marketing podcasts, marketing trends, questions that people are wanting answered, right? So this is all content and stuff that we want to focus on when we create our article. We're going to want to try and organically develop this content to uh, talk about these different questions that people want answered. How to build your strategy. How to choose the best platforms. Um, can it help you meet your goals? How to, set reach, how to set and reach social media goals. Marketing strategy, right? So you can see marketing strategy is a big one. People want to understand the strategy behind social media marketing. Factual sentences referenced across, uh, sorry, across top search results. So it's actually statistics. So last day to bid on 36 bars. Okay, that's not going to be it. So we can delete it. According to our research, a brand's average response time is about 10 hours. That's a good statistic to understand. Um, Let's see, Facebook analytics told them that 90% of their users who referred customers were between the age of 18 and 34 years old. 65% of that group was using Android. Decent statistic to know. 50% of content will drive back to your website. 20% of content will support lead generation goals. 5% of content will be about your company culture. So it's just information that you can use, right? And again, all of this information is actually over here as well. So I can see all of the, the top articles right here as they're shown in search results. You can see topics, right? And it actually tells you how many times you wanna mention the topic within the article. So like social media marketing, and that's actually pulling from all this. So what I'll do is, we're gonna delete all this because it's all over there. All right, and then we're gonna take this out. You can leave it in if it's yours, but I'm gonna take this out for this example. And so we've got social media mentioned four times. So basically what happens is when I start writing this out, we're going and I start writing because you can actually use this to write your your first draft for your article. Um, we want to make sure we mention social media 50 times, social media marketing 15 times, Facebook 14 times. Um, I'm probably not going to, I mean, you'll probably talk about customers, marketers, Google, Instagram, YouTube, all of those need to be mentioned. Target audience, people want to hear about that. Marketing strategy, awareness, strategy and you're going to try and work these words and phrases and topics into the actual content then questions again how social media marketing can help you meet your 
marketing goals, how to build a social media marketing strategy for 2020. All of this is information that you can use to develop your topics. And look, it's even, it's awesome. Like you can classify things as headers. Like this is important. So that way when you get it ready to upload to like WordPress or whatever your blog platform is, um, you can already have the classifications of what each heading should be right there. Um, you can add styling. Nice. You can do block co quotes and paragraphs. You can align it, get all of the formatting ready. So that way when you're ready to go, you're good to go. Oh, nice. So really cool tool guys. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And if you build a lot of content or even if you want to build web pages, like this can help you with service pages. It can help you with sales pages, homepage. So that way you know what keywords you should be targeting on those particular pages. It's better though for content. I will say that it is much better for blog content and things of that nature. Man, it's a slow night. People must be busy. It's already 7.58 and we've only got 15 people on. Slow night. What's everybody doing? Everybody already checked out for the year? What about WhatsApp? What you talking about? Oh, what's up? <laughs> I was like, WhatsApp? What do you mean? Ayush, what's going on? <clears throat> All right, so you guys got questions? What are your questions? It's not really a Q&A if I'm just not answering cues. <laughs> got to have some cues to A. You know what I mean, guys? And by the way, just a quick little mention because not everybody knows. Um... If you're looking for tools, resources, programs that I provide, courses that I sell, things like that, you're going to want to check in the description right below this video. Make sure to check that out at some point. <clears throat> Still figuring out go high level? It's a beast, but when you get it all worked out and you finally figure out how the platform works, it is such a crucial part of your business. Like it's very helpful. All right. No questions. You guys must be checked out too. Everybody's checked out this year. <laughs> Everybody's just saying, all right, 2020 sucked. Corona was terrible. This year sucks. So <laughs> what's my holiday schedule for next week? Let me pull up a calendar real quick. Um, so I'm working until the 23rd. On the night of the 23rd, I fly out to Orlando, and then I'll be in Orlando until Sunday. So the, or, or is it Sunday or Monday? I think I come back. I come back either Sunday or Monday. I can't remember which. So either the 27th or 28th. But I'll be in Orlando. Um. Until after Christmas. Does pudding, pudding, <laughs> pudding is just one tea, I believe. Maybe it is two. Now you're making me, no, it's one T. <laughs> does putting media, does putting media at the end of your agency name make you look unprofessional? This might be a dumb question. No, why would that make you look unpro unprofessional? Everyone at my job already logged off Slack. <laughs> is December usually a slow month for DMAs? Yeah, it usually is slower because people are wrapping up the year. Um, that's why I like to go into any conversations with potential clients saying, hey, we would love to help you plan your marketing strategy for 2021 we're going to do that for free for you it's a good way to get in the door and that's really the only thought that people are having at this point how would you go about figuring out what type of audience to build for certain niche business owners like real estate home reno vacation car dealership owners etc uh charlton have you seen my section on facebook ads where i talk about audience building it's pretty straightforward
Um, what are some other ones? I'd have to look at the document. Can't remember what they all are, but this is enough to show you an example. Basically, let's say you have real estate, right? Facebook, what you're gonna do is you can target business owners, right? But then you're gonna segment by business owners who also have interest in, so they have to be a business owner, but then they also have to be a business owner who like realestate.com. Uh, homes.com um, let's say zillow.com but do you see what I'm doing here why would this be helpful because real estate agents are business owners but then they're also probably like interested in real estate related websites right And you could even segment it further than that. Like say you got, you know, you could do people who like realestate.com, homes.com, and people who like zillow.com and let's just like homefinder.com. So that means they have to be a business owner. They have to like either real estate or homes.com, either one that doesn't have to be both. And they also have to like either Zillow or homefinder.com. So we're really segmenting down to people who are probably more likely to be real estate agents there. But that it's the, you, know, you don't always want to segment you know, all the way down and go as far as you can and put like 15 different layers in because then you're going to get too segmented. Um, and it's not the case every time, but in some instances, especially when you're working with like local audiences, uh, you can segment yourself too far to where you're not going to reach anybody. No, I do not white label my services. But we have done a lot of talking about it recently with Go High Level for people who are just new or brand new to starting the agency and they want to really just get the ball rolling, but they don't have everything in place yet as far as like their service offering and how they're going to perform operations. Um, so white labeling is a solid option if you know who to use. Where is your referral link for Go High Level? I want to sign up under you because that's how I found them. Um, right below in the description. It's called all-in-one software, all-in-one agency software. If you just go down there and click that link, you can do it right there. And OJ, if you sign up and um, you want like my emails and text messages and landing pages that we use to get clients, I'll send those over to you for free. Um, you just got to let me know that you signed up. So reach out to me either on Facebook or Instagram, something like that. Let me know that you signed up. Send me the email that you signed up with and then I'll verify and then send you over the uh the snapshot <clears throat> uh a question with facebook ads what is the best way to approach top of funnel middle of funnel and bottom of funnel well <laughs> completely depends on the business type you're working with top of funnel is typically something that's going to stand out capture attention uh, address a problem or an issue that a particular audience is having Middle of funnel is going to be reinforcement type content. So it can be testimonials and reviews. It can be um, downloadable content. It can be guides, things like that. Um, and then, you know, bottom of funnel is pretty much doing the same thing. And you can even implement an offer of some kind. So sign up now and get 10% off your first month or sign up now. And if it's an eight, let's say it's an agency ad, sign up now and we'll provide a free photo shoot, something to entice them to sign up. Best time to reach then, right? What? <laughs> Argon, what? <laughs> Best time to reach then, right? I don't know one. I don't know what that means. Are you talking about business owners? Like best time to reach them at the end of the year? Not really. Best time to reach business owners is actually at the beginning of the year because that's when everybody's like on their grind, ready to go again. It's a new year. We got new goals, all that kind of stuff. What should ag agencies be doing during downtime? Optimizing internal processes, for sure. Optimizing sales processes, optimizing like campaign development processes. Every process that you have that you use to run your business, that's what you know is one of the best things you can do for your business. <clears throat> is push ads a good way to grow real estate client in Ontario? Just targeting 
whatever area in the state they want because they can't get their Facebook ads through. What? Well, my first question would be, why can't they get their Facebook ads through? And by push ads, do you mean on Google? Like push to call? Because that can be an effective method. Do you still recommend Vendasta for fulfillment? I've never actually said that I like Vendasta to do fulfillment. I've mentioned that they have it as an option, but I've never used them, nor would I recommend them for fulfillment because they're not really, like they didn't start off as an agency. If you want my opinion on who should do fulfillment for like white labeling services, I would probably recommend Go High Level because they started as an agency mm -hmm. and all of their stuff is actually done in-house. <clears throat> oh, best time to reach out to clients. You mean prospects? Or are you talking about clients? Because, I mean, if they're already clients, you can reach out to them whenever. But if they're prospects, again, I don't think the end of the year is the best time to reach out to them. I think it's the beginning of the year. That's really when people are looking to make adjustments to their business. Slack message. Okay. Okay. They keep getting their Facebook account banned in the mortgage niche. Oh, so they're not even real estate. They're just mortgage brokers. Um, I'm not sure what you're doing to get, or what they are doing to get their account banned. Um, I would probably look into that first because that's kind of crappy. I don't even know how a mortgage, what is a mortgage broker doing or posting about? that's going to get their account banned. How many hours does it take to build a campaign like your Go High Level templates? Dude, it took me two days to write out all those emails and text messages and build it. It took me another day or two to get it connected with all of my other software, which was a pain in the ass. It shouldn't have taken that long. But Zapier is a pain in the ass sometimes. And then getting the triggers to operate properly was really the hardest part. But like writing campaigns, that took no time at all. And you're right. I probably should sell it. But that's why I make people sign up under my affiliate account. Because if you sign up for Go High Level, I get affiliate revenue every single month for every month that you use Go High Level. That's why it's kind of the trade-off. Like if I'm going to give away something that valuable, great. But I'm going to get something out of it too, right? But it's a, it's a fair trade-off because you don't do anything past that. You're just using the software that you're going to use anyways. I just benefit from the fact that I obviously get a little bit of recurring revenue. Which, if you guys are agency owners and you know a lot of agency owners, you want a good way to make some money, go high level, like affiliate program. If you guys are in groups where other agencies exist, like for example, I mean, don't do it in mine because you'll probably get your comment deleted. And if you do it again, you'll probably get banned from my free group, but I have a public group where we talk about marketing agency stuff. And um, <clears throat> so, and I know there's hundreds of groups out there that talk about digital marketing and agency related stuff. So if you get involved in some of those groups and start responding to people's comments and questions, and they have questions related to CRMs, landing page building, calendars, uh, automated uh, autoresponders, like email, SMS, autoresponders, things like that, you guys can start having conversations with those people and then show them what you've benefited benefited from doing and earn some good money doing it too like go high level i think we're making an extra two grand a month just from it's almost two grand it's not quite a two grand just from go high level people signing up under my affiliate account because uh, go high level does 40 percent recurring commission and a five percent override so like if i sign you up under my account and you're my affiliate, and then you decide to go out and start trying to get people to sign up for Go High Level, and they sign up under your affiliate account, I make an extra 5% off of the people you sign up because you're under my account. It's kind of a pyramid scheme now that I think about it. <laughs> it's not really a pyramid scheme. It's just because it doesn't go like into like a thousand levels. It only does those first two levels, but still, I get affiliate revenue from both of those. And you guys could be doing this too, super easily. And it's just an extra stream of revenue that doesn't really take any effort past the point of promoting it and getting people to sign up. Once they sign up, 
that's it. Your job's done. Can go high level replace Zapier? No. What? Zapier and go high level are two completely different things. Zapier is for connecting different. Whoops. Sorry. Zapier is for connecting different softwares. That's all Zapier does. It says this software needs to talk to this software, but there isn't an integration currently. So, but they do both have integrations built into Zapier so we can connect them here. That's all Zapier does. Go high level is a CRM, autoresponder, calendar, appointment setting calendar, funnel builder, website builder software all in one. And they're adding more and more features to it every single week. Ronald, what's up, buddy? How you doing? <clears throat> and again, guys, if you're just hopping in, actually, if you're hopping in now and you guys want to win a mentorship program, I need you to do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button if you're interested in winning the mentor, uh, not the mentorship. Well, we're giving away a mentorship program and I'm going to give away a marketing course tonight. So any training material? Yeah. Have you seen my YouTube channel or my blog? There's like hundreds of articles on there. And like I just mentioned, we're doing a giveaway for a free course. So they probably had some copy on their landing page that wasn't up to par with what Facebook expects. But then again, I don't I can't tell you exactly what happened because it could be a hundred different things. I got to find someone to watch my puppy while I go to Florida, though. Anybody want to watch a dog? <laughs> Anybody interested in watching a dog? I could use a dog watcher. Somebody just asked me what I use for sales tracking. One of my personal friends. <laughs> what days do you live stream? I always come in late. Every Thursday. Every single Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's only one day. Unless you do like my mentorship program or you're in DMS 2.0, then mentorship program is every Tuesday and Wednesday at 6 and 3 and DMS 2.0 is every other Monday at 4 p.m. <laughs> he's a, here, I'll show you a picture. He's a pointer and a lab mixed. He's a cute little mother. I love him to death, don't get me wrong. He's just, he's a lot. And he's not like bad a lot. He's just like, he's hyper. He always wants to have fun and go, play around and go outside and do all this stuff because he's a wild dog, but he's adorable. That's my puppy right there, Chipper. Chipper's amazing. <clears throat> Wait, Mar, do you live in Atlanta? <laughs> I ain't playing. I got to have someone to watch him from the 23rd to the 28th when I get back, so. Uh, what do I use for payroll software? Well, here's the thing, Chance. If you don't have any employees, you don't have payroll. Um, so you won't need a payroll software. We use QuickBooks, though, to help with payroll. <clears throat> but I didn't think you had any uh, em actual employee employees. Because if they're contractors, you don't need payroll. You just pay them. Payroll is when you... Payroll is more for like automating payment to employees and making sure that uh, payroll taxes are being taken out. Yes, he is named after Chipper Jones, my favorite player. That one right there. Oh, wait, it's a little bobblehead. The tiny little bobblehead right there. Like, wait, there? That's Chipper. I think that one's like Freddie Freeman. I'm pretty sure that's Freddie Freeman. I can't remember who this one is. That's Hank Aaron. I can't remember who this one is. These two are like older guys that I hadn't even heard of until I 
got one. I mean, the free course I'm giving away, just so you guys know, the free course I'm giving away, it's our beginner course. It's actually only $27 if you want to go buy it, but, I mean, obviously, or you could get it for free. But if you want to buy it, it's $27. It's over on my on my uh, website at serialentrepreneur.academy. It's the ultimate SMMA program. Um, have you done cold calling to prospect? If so, recently. Um, no, I haven't done it recently. Yes, I've done it plenty in my lifetime. Um, it's all about hitting your numbers. That's the most important thing with cold calling. I have a social media media content client and I have a system. I can identify prospects that need my service. I have a way of contacting with the gatekeeper but can't get meetings, any advice. Are you getting past the gatekeeper? Because that's where it all starts. You got to get past that person. <clears throat> what other systems do you integrate with go high level uh twilio mailgun google analytics or data studio whichever one facebook and any other software that you're potentially using can pretty much integrate with Go High Level. Don't live in Atlanta. I'm in Ohio, but I would definitely look out for <laughs> miniature schnauzer. She wild too. Yeah, I bet she is. I bet you will, Chance. Matter of fact, I know you will. What is the ultimate social media calendar where you can schedule and post stories for Facebook and Instagram. There isn't one. I don't know why. Instagram is such a pain in the ass about it. But there isn't one that posts like stories and just automates everything. I mean, there's Sprout Social. There's uh, Hootsuite. You know, those are the standards uh, posting software. But Facebook has actually got a new like content creation thing, uh, like platform internally where you can schedule it just using Facebook's. But again, you can't do stories, which really sucks. <clears throat> what motivated you to start my digital marketing agency? That's a long story, but basically, it came down to the fact that I was working at a marketing agency in Jacksonville. They wouldn't promote me, even though I was do doing the training for 16, 17 sales reps. Um, and my sales manager wasn't doing anything. And as a sales rep... At that agency, you had to understand what you were selling. So you had to know how digital marketing worked. So they put you through a lot of training in digital marketing. And since they didn't promote me, I moved. I came back to Atlanta. I said, well, forget this. I'm going to go do my own thing. Um, and then I was running a car, a commercial uh, pressure washing and car detailing, a mobile car detailing service. And we did. I did that for about two years. And honestly, after the second year, I was just done busting my ass every day, coming home worn out. Um and especially like in the winter time, like fingers just messed up from, you know, always being wet and then cold. And so I was just like, I just want to utilize my knowledge that I have in digital marketing. And really, I enjoy it a lot more. So I started doing my own thing. And then um, what was funny was I saw like Ty Lopez's stuff out there. And I was like, man, this is stupid because it wasn't very good. And I just thought I could do better. And so I tried my best to do better. Outsource VAs to handle Facebook ads. Upwork. What about later.com for Instagram? I don't think later I don't think there is a software that does automatic story posting. That's the thing. I haven't seen one yet. And later, I believe, is actually pretty expensive too. Because we looked at later a while ago, but it's pretty expensive. I'd rather just have like hire a VA for three dollars an hour to post things. how much does my agency make a month in profit? Um, it's different every single month, but our profit margin is around 25 to 30% depending on the client. So I can tell you that. All right, guys, we're getting close to 830. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. 
can't wait for DMS to become a physical location. That would be great. That's, you know, the goal one day would, it would be to have like a physical location where people can come, like an actual campus. Um, but the issue there is you would have to come to wherever that location is. So if you're not, you know, close to me, because that's where it would be, which is which would probably be in Atlanta, um, <laughs> you'd have a hard time doing it. <clears throat> yeah, so Mar, and I'm actually thinking about putting together some content on this, but a great way for you guys to get clients is doing guarantees. And you guys have probably seen this a lot. Um, but saying something like, we guarantee you 20 to 30 appointments per month. And if not, we'll refund you. The way that works, though, is those guarantees only apply to top tier clients, people who are going to spend, you know, seven to $10,000 per month. Um, and the and those are in high niche, high value niche, high value client niches. Meaning, you know, roofers, they're going to make $26,000 or, or they'll make, you know, at the end of the day, they'll probably walk away with ten fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 for one roof in profit um, on average. So that being said, if I get them one lead or one good client, we just made them money, right? Um, so you only do that with them, but you use that as a tool to get them to at least set an appointment with you because you know these people are interested in getting clients. Now... If they don't, if they can't afford the ten thousand dollar per month package, that's when you work them down into a lower package. But it doesn't come with a guarantee at the lower packages. And the reason why you're giving a guarantee on those higher packages is because if you're getting ten thousand dollars a month from a client and you can't get them twenty leads, you shouldn't be a marketing agency owner. It's like impossible not to get twenty to thirty leads for a client and like set appointments for a client if you if you have a $10,000 ad spend and it's just a you know it's a standard small medium sized local business All right guys so that's going to be it for now because we are going to do the giveaways and I need to get questions make sure you guys have time to answer before we get done but do me a favor hit that thumbs up button if you're wanting to win one of the programs if you don't hit the thumbs up button you're not going to win. I won't give you a program. We have, we're doing two giveaways. We're going to do a mentorship giveaway and a digital marketing course giveaway. All right. So a marketing agency course giveaway. If you want to win, you have to hit the thumbs up button, give us a like, and you have to put in the chat that you want to play. So write in the chat. Yes, I want to play. So that way I know that you want to play and that qualifies you to play. If you don't write in the chat and you answer the question and you get it right, but you didn't write in the chat, I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to the next answer. So make sure you write in the chat that you want to play. Also make sure to hit that thumbs up button and we will get started in just a second. <clears throat> so what you guys think? Ready to play? And just for your information, guys, um, if you already have the DMS 2.0, you don't really want the beginner level program because you have way more with the DMS 2.0. You don't need the beginner level program. So if you win and you have DMS 2.0, but you don't have the mentorship, let me know and I'll give you the mentorship. And then I can give the course away to somebody who doesn't have a training course. Uh, so basically, Dan, I'm going to ask a question. First person to answer it correctly wins a program. Simple as that. It could be, and that's why you want to get here on time, not trying to be mean, but if you get here on time, a lot of the times the questions come from the discussion that we had during the Q&A. But I'll throw one in there that isn't from the discussion so that way everybody can feel happy. All right, let me get some questions. All right, first one. This is, this one's gonna be easier. We'll just say that. 
So, this one will be for the mentorship giveaway. We'll do the mentorship giveaway first. All right. This is a yes or no question. The only answers are yes or no. You have to get it right. The first question is, should you make your clients sign a contract to work with you? Yes or no? All right, Teen Ambition, you're going to be the first winner for tonight for the mentorship program. I just put the link in the chat, facebook.com slash Serial Entrepreneur. You just need to reach out to us there. The answer is yes, you should make your clients sign a contract. And that's not only to protect your business, it's to solidify the agreement with them and make sure that you can keep them long term. <clears throat> So, Teen Ambition, go ahead and go to facebook.com slash Serial Entrepreneur. What is your name, team, Teen Ambition? I need to know your name right now, so that way when you message us on Facebook, we know and who's going to message us, and it's not some random person saying they, they won. So what's your real name? I need you to put that in the chat right now, so that way I know who's going to be messaging us. And then you just need to go to facebook.com slash Serial Entrepreneur and send us a message so we can get your program over to you. All right, who's ready for the next question? Everybody ready to play? Ready for the next Q&A question? <laughs> he said, so it wasn't a trick question. Cool. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I mean, hey, you weren't the only one. There were several people who said no, in my opinion. And you don't have to. You're not legally required to make someone sign a contract. In my opinion, as an agency owner, and in all of my agency experiences from the last 10 years, I've never worked with someone without having them sign a contract. Even when I worked in Jacksonville, we, we did contracts. Steven Robber. Robber? Rober? Robber would be two Bs. Rober. I'm guessing Rober. Steven Rober. Right? Am I right? Tell me I'm right. All right. Next question. This is for the Ultimate SMMA program. This is the Marketing Agency Training Program. It is our beginner level training program. I think it has about 14 different trainings in it. And it's the start to getting your agency off the ground. But in my opinion, even though that program is fantastic, we've had a, we've had a student land a $100,000 contract just from taking that program. Now, said student did end up buying our Done With You agency program because she was like, holy crap, I landed a $100,000 contract and I'm not ready to do this yet. So, <laughs> so then she ended up giving us $4,500 to build her agency with her. But everybody who's gone through the Done With You program has absolutely loved it because it makes it so much easier for you to be able to build a successful agency. Like, I always talk about John. He's one of our first beta, beta group because it is a newer program. He's one of our beta group student or beta testers, I guess, um, students who came out of that program. And he did 36000 in his first month. We talked last week. He's, he's got like 15 appointments a week coming in. And he's working with real estate agents setting 15 appointments a week. So he'll be up to fifty, sixty-five thousand dollars $65,000 in revenue a month here very soon. Now, Teen Ambition already said they wanted to play. It was above that. Look up. Push. Oh, he retracted the message. He's like, oh, man, I messed up. <laughs> All right. So the question. And you don't have to get the spelling right. I talked about an app earlier that helps with content marketing. What is the name of the app that I was talking about that helps you with content marketing? Who remembers? Who was paying attention? This is going to be a good one.
Who was paying attention? What is the name of the application? Hey, Mar, are you already in the mentorship program? Oh, wait. You're in DMS 2.0, aren't you? Mar? Because if you are, I'm going to give it to somebody else just because you don't need this program if you're in DMS 2.0. But you are the first one to get it right. So, Mar, tell me if you are in DMS 2.0 or not. I'm sorry. I can't remember everybody. We have over 2,000 students in that program. <laughs> so it's hard to remember everybody. I, kn I know that you're always on my YouTube lives. I remember your name. But if you're not in DMS 2.0, I'll go ahead and give you the program. If not, then OJ, OJ, are you in my DMS 2.0 program? Yep, just message the Facebook account. All right, Mar, since you're in DMS 2.0, I'm going to give it to somebody else. But you did have the answer correct, so way to go for paying attention. But, OJ, are you in DMS 2.0? Because if not, then I'm going to give you the program because you were second to answer. I said you didn't have to get the spelling right. It is F-R-A-S-E phrase dot I-O. That is the app. All right, OJ, you win the access to our beginner level program for the ultimate SMMA program. You need to do the same thing. Is your name on Facebook going to be OJ Smith? If so, then we're good. Outside of that, all you need to do is go to facebook.com slash serial entrepreneur, send me a message, and let me know that you won on there. And we'll send over the course tomorrow. Yes, yes, OJ Smith, that's your name. All right, cool. As long as that's your name on Facebook, then great. Just send us a message and we will get over a program to you tomorrow. I miss wearing this hoodie though. It's like, it's kind of old. Like, I think it's got some, yeah, it's got like a couple little holes right here, but I don't even care. This hoodie's so sweet and soft. I love Burton, if you can't tell. And snowboarding. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. If I don't see you, oh, wait, I don't know if I will see you next week. Christmas Eve is the 24th. I'll do a live. If the internet connection at my family's house is good, I'll do a live. If it's not good, I'm not going to be able to do it because it takes a lot to be able to run these lives. Can I get a guide or an email template or something? <laughs> um, I mean, that's the thing. You have everything. If you want, sign up for Go High Level using my affiliate link right below, and I'll send you all of the emails, text messages, landing page. Like, you won't even have to build anything. You just make small adjustments, and you're good to go. So, Mar, I can do that for you. I do that for everybody, though, but I can do that for you. I mean, if you're in DMS 2.0, you pretty much have everything. There's nothing I can give you. The only step, the only next step from there would be to do our done with you program, which that's a little bit different. All right, everybody, that is it for tonight. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or a great rest of your night or morning, wherever you are located. Um, but that's it. And I will see you guys next week. Until then, guys, Serial Entrepreneur out. Bye, guys.